Okay, I'm going to go ahead and detail my process for installing Oracle Database Express Edition 11 and Oracle SQL Developer 4 on my Ubuntu machine. Now, the problem with this is that Oracle only releases their installation media as RPMs, which are Red Hat Package Manager packages. And since this is a di completely different operating system, completely different Linux base kernel, <clears throat> uh, the problem is, is that I'm going to have to convert these over to dev files so I can install them. And I found a really nice tutorial that shows you just how to do that. Here's some prereqs, unzip, and using the installed program to convert it over to a dev file. We edit a few things, uh, create a few files, change the permissions of those files, set up our links and our library paths, and uh, change the permissions, and also set up some, uh, some boot stuff. So, after that, we go ahead and set it up, configure it, and here's a nice tutorial that I followed verbatim. And then we install SQL Developer, uh, and it has to be converted over as well, and the instructions are here. And after that, we need to set up a user. So, going to the command line, we can um, <clears throat> set up a new user by executing this command um, as the system database administrator and creating a user. We create our user and we need to give them permissions to create a session. So we run this query with the user name in place of user and then they will be able to create a session and log on. So you can use SQL plus to manipulate your database from the command line or you can use the SQL developer which is what we installed I installed as well um, now in order to use this we have to create a connection it's very simple we just put in our username and password and since we set up all of our linkage and libraries and uh, a few extra files that give us the defaults that we need uh, XE is selected and our port is the default as we set up when we installed the Express Edition in the first place. You can test it to make sure that you have all your credentials correct and then connect. And then you'll have a listing of everything that is available to you as that user. And I'm not sure if there are other permissions that need to be given to the user in order to be able to create tables, but this shows you how to get started uh, and install this on your Ubuntu system.